Oh. Go live. Live no. Oh, here we go. What's good, fam? What's good with y'all? We in this thing. Creative game. Let's see what it's uh. Let me cut the uh. Cut this camera on. What's good, YouTube? It too. How y'all doing today, man? Huh? You can't see me? Oh, it got a it got a delay on it. That's probably why you can't see me. There it go. It's coming on. I just got a delay. It's a bit delay. I need to get that fixed. I don't know why it's delaying that late, but it's all good. What's up, y'all? In today's video, I'm finna draw inside of Clip Studio Paint. I'm finna remaster my logo. I'll show y'all the logo I did back then. But we gotta up to date it, you know what I'm saying? I gotta add my up to date it. That's my word. We gotta up to date the logo. I gotta add my beard, man, cause you see on my logo, I ain't had that much facial hair. Now nah, it came in. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to this little pencil tool inside of Clip Studio Paint. And we're gonna start out with a nice little sketch. Um, I'm gonna let y'all see it too. So let's try to move this. Let's move this picture on this screen. Okay. Let's squeeze it in the corner. We're gonna squeeze this in the corner as well. Oh snap. Man, I draw everything. I can draw anything for real. I just like knowing people. And the size I draw on is 18 by 18 inches. Because that's the size that'll go and it'll fit perfectly inside of Instagram. And don't ask me why I always start my sketches out with pink. Okay. Gonna re remaster my logo, man. I wish I had a mirror. You got a mirror, Tian? Um, yeah, when I drew this, I was just looking at myself in a, uh, a big old mirror that I wish I had now. I appreciate you. I, it's too loud right now? Let me see, I'm finna cut that thing down. Um, what about now? Yo, beat too loud. I got a delay, that's probably why. Oh, I need a mirror to uh look at myself so I can see my uh see my see my facial facial features. You know what I'm saying? Cause my beard then got super long. Okay. I'm gonna 
Bring this thing on over. Add my bottom lip. I got a big old smile. Add my big old nose that I'm proud of and don't want no surgery to make it smaller. Okay. Add my nose. And every time I smile, my eyes look like they trying to close. But I'm not high. I know y'all y'all be like, man, I wouldn't smoke. She's smoking. Too bad, because I ain't smoking nothing. I'm just a naturally happy individual, man. Because life is a blessing. I'm finna start a new saying, too, bro. It's gonna be, why you stressing when life is a blessing? <laughs> why you out here stressing knowing life's a blessing? All right. Only thing you got to do, man, to get better at drawing is just practice, bro. That's all you got to do. The more you do it, like, you got to think about it. Like, anything you do in life, like, when you go to school and you're trying to learn something, you don't know it at first. But what the teacher make you go home and do? She make you go home and study it over and over. You make them little flashcards. You do all that until you get it locked in your head. That's just, it's just like art, man. If you stay drawing every day, just say if you stay drawing just something like uh, a hand every day, eventually it's going to get locked in your mind of how a hand looks. And, like, that repetition of just drawing that will just make you, like, a monster, dog. Like, supposed to be like, dang, why you draw so good? But little did they know you put in so many hours, you ain't got no choice but to get better. It's just like Stephen Curry, he the best shooter in the world because he shoot a lot. You got to you gotta do it a lot to be to be good at what you do. So all the greats in the world, the reason they the greats is because they do it a lot. I appreciate you, man. That means a lot to me because I'm still to myself and I'll forever be, bro, a regular person. So I, I really, I'm really humbled to know that there's people out there that's really loving what I'm blessed with, like love what I do. Tabakia. Slobakia. Ah, oh, that's dope. What's up, man? When I'm playing PUBG, I played last night. And I'm getting on tonight. You feel me? I like doing the little zombie thing now. So I'm going to get on. This program is called Clip Studio Paint. And I'm telling you. I love this program. Only thing about it, like, I would use it 24-7 if I just learn how to be able to. You know how in Adobe, if you watch my tutorials, you know how I tweak the colors, and I just keep going back to tweak certain layers of colors. I don't know how in, inside this program to tweak a layer. Every time I try to tweak the color, it'll tweak my entire picture. But as soon as I figure out how to tweak just one layer, and get the colors exactly how I want it. I use this program all the time. Hi from Norway. What's up, man? Thank y'all for tuning in. You feel me? If it weren't for y'all, I wouldn't even be on YouTube. Be for real. Hey, I gave me a long K9. I think I'm gonna open my eyes more in this picture. I don't know. Or you think I need to leave my eyes like I got the other logo? Like my original logo. Okay. Bet. I ain't gonna change the eyes because we don't need the eyes to stay. Need to add my little hair above my lips. Okay. Got this little, little hair going right there, man. Got 
the little wolf going need to shave a little bit i shave a little bit i'm just scared to get them hair bumps bro that's all i'm gonna just no nah, i'm just let my junk go natural man yeah yeah i need to when i title the video when y'all can go back and watch it i'm gonna make sure i put the name of the program because adobe done got bougie on us man we gotta got dang pay all they got dang money to not have the program <laughs> we gotta pay rent for the program what the heck that shit like I don't care how much, I don't care if I'm a millionaire, bro. I'm gonna still look at that shit like, bro, I'm paying this much money and you ain't, you ain't trying to let me have it. As soon as, soon as the program start tripping on us, we gonna move to the next thing, the next best thing. Until they get right, you feel me? Bet, I got you. Naruto? Yeah, I will. I like that style. It's funny you say that. I done say so many Naruto style pictures in my computer. I just love they, they style. It's like simple, but it ain't at the same time. For, it's simple for anime because anime puts so much detail into everything that's my favorite style of art man i don't even like to draw like realistic type pictures i like to draw anime style because it's just so crazy to me dog like that's my favorite style of art anime so that's why you don't never see me do like realistic because drawing realistic pictures to me is dope but at the end of the day it's plain because you ain't you ain't really making it unique. You just making it exactly how you see it. But when you get to add your own flair to it and and translate it to another art form, like that shit be amazing to me. I love some anime. You can kinda see it in my style. I'm from the trenches. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm from uh, I'm from Alabama. Nothing but grass and trees and and cows. Oh my voice low. Yo, I need to get I need to get another mic, man. Oh, you can hear me. Oh, you gotta cut your uh they gotta cut their speakers up then. Damn, that shit sound good to be a goddamn headset. That's crazy. Oh man, I appreciate you, bro. I'm glad you took the information and you did something with it that's all i think that's all our goal is bro is to inspire others you know what i'm saying help others you know what i'm saying if everybody help everybody if everybody in the world help the next person won't nobody go without but we we don't we overthink it well we don't even realize that it ain't no it won't be no such thing as crabs in a bucket if everybody help the next person you know what I'm saying? Just like ants. If you look at ants, you see how smooth they work together? What'd you say? Man, I'm from Dothan, bro. I'm using the the UG. It's like the cheap brand. 
It's like an off brand of wanting to try to be a Wacom. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, the great value brand of a Wacom. But I want a Wacom. I think I'm going to get one. I just got so used to using this one because I've been. it's the first tablet I done bought. Okay, wait, wait. What you said? Click on what? Okay. Oh, shit. Bro, you the realest. Who who said? Who told me? J Mark, bro. You the realest, bro. Appreciate you, bro. I've been trying to figure that that out for the longest bro thank you bro oh i appreciate you man much love i want to go to africa one day i bet that john so beautiful Hey man, y'all be watching me from all over the world. That joint, I know y'all say it all the time, but I love when y'all tell me where y'all from, bro. Cause that joint amazed me. Like I'm a regular dude, man, and y'all like watch me. That's that's so amazing, man. Colombia, what's up, man? That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to give you a little tip on drawing teeth. I notice if you try to do, like, the individual teeth like this when you're drawing, it'll kind of make it look like your picture is scary, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you try to draw teeth like that, it'll make the picture look scary for some reason. Like, if I really go in and try to make all the teeth show like this, You'd be like, dang, man, teeth look, the teeth make them look scary for some reason. But if you only show the little highlight effect, I'm going to show you. Like, when you join teeth, I'm going to give you a little, especially when you're doing cartoon, like, say, okay, we got the lip, we got the bottom lip. Okay, this is the top lip. You just do the little, the little line that kind of show. And then you can draw pieces of the gum. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to fully close the teeth. You feel me? And it'll give it that effect. Like, dang, the teeth look shiny white, pearly. Look like he got them goddamn Abraham dentures. Who? Kamali who? Kamari Collins. Shout out to Kamari Collins. What's good with you? What's up? What's up to India? you? Man, I just... Hey, we got to do a tutorial of me strictly drawing on paper as well, man. We going to start back taking it back to the roots. You know what I'm saying? Because to be honest with you, everybody can't afford these tablets. And I know they're expensive. You know what I'm saying? They even expensive for me. Like, I'm not... I'm not rich. I'm not even finna cap like I'm just some rich celebrity and can just buy anything I want. I work hard for a lot of things, but nah, man, you don't really, don't let this be an excuse. Like if you watching my videos and you like, yeah, I like it, but I ain't got, I ain't got, I ain't got the money to get the tablets he got and I can't do it because I ain't got what he got. Well, you got paper. Long as you got paper and a writing utensil, you can be an artist, bro. You can, I mean, you can create. Dang, I made a mistake. Man. Um, you said it get blurry. 
when you join side procreate cuz uh procreate don't use uh victor like it it don't it use victor but not as much like adobe illustrator is a victor based program like it's it's, it's strong point is to make the lines victor are just lines without pixels it like you know how you we, if i zoom in close as i can it'll look very pixelated but if you zoom in as close as you can on adobe illustrator it won't because it don't use pixels so you just gotta kind of learn how to work around it i appreciate you appreciate y'all man Oh man, that's a man. Y'all so real, dog. I appreciate all y'all, man. Y'all give y'all really. If you want to talk about career, dog, y'all y'all are the reason I get to live my dreams, where I can just wake up and draw. You know what I'm saying? And it just feel good to have people to appreciate what you do, and by y'all appreciating what I do, you just give me a platform to be able to make a living off just being myself you know what i'm saying so i love y'all for that like i love y'all for giving me giving my life purpose you know what i'm saying uh you have a wacom you try to make smooth lines well if you using uh this uh clip studio paint you, you need to move your stabilizer all the way up and it'll help you make very smooth lines and just say if i move it down that's when i'm gonna get more jitters you know what i'm saying like it ain't gonna be as consistent but the more you move your stabilizer up on your brushes that's why i love this program bro like it's it's a it's a beast bro this program and it's a good price like that's what really made me want to get it I, I was looking at the price one day i said man let me check let me check this program out and then man come to find out like damn this is a pretty decent program like the first day of me using it i made like an amazing picture bro like the learning curve was you can just pick it up and automatically go to the brush and start drawing Oh no, I just be talking. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure like when they go back and watch it, they they appreciate me talking about the certain programs. Let me see, I'm a uh office How often do I use live pay in Illustrator? Live paint. What is live paint? That sounded like a program they was trying to say. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know that. I appreciate you, man. I'm going to start doing more of these. Yeah, I want to I wanna start doing videos of me drawing strictly on paper just for the people who don't got like all this stuff you can still be making some crazy artwork man i need to start by drawing on paper as well because paper is more valued than uh digital art for some reason even though i'm drawing this like freehand it'll be appreciated more if i drew it on paper it's original now but it's just yeah like pa people love original paper yeah man i've been drawing since i came out the womb no lie <laughs> for real i've been drawing since since i picked up a, a pen a pencil like 
I'm gonna show y'all my baby pictures. I know y'all think I'm I'm lying. Yeah. But my teacher, when I was like in in pre-K, they predicted I would be like an artist. Like they wrote this little thing about me. And it was like he's the next Basquiat, Picasso. And I was a baby. And I was just at this little painting board, painting, throwing colors on this little piece of paper. And the teachers wrote this little thing about me. And what do you know? Years later, your boy drawing for real. So. So all the parents, if I got some parents watching me right now. And talk good about your kids, man. Inspire the kids. Because they're going to wind up being old one day. And they're going to remember everything you said. So. If it's good, you're going to feel good about yourself when you old and your kid don't wind up being successful. But if you being ugly to the kids, they will remember that too. Because I remember every ass whooping I received. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I think that's pretty good for the sketch. Should I need to, do I need to add these little wrinkles that I be having on? Okay. Nice little sketch. So we gonna drop the opacity down just a, a smidge. Create a new layer. We gonna go to our pen tool, go to our G pen, get out the color black, move our stable stabilization up on our brush so we can have a little more control. Then we finna make some crispy lines. Make my brush a little bigger too. Move my stabilizer up so we can get it as crisp. Yeah, this junk, this program is crazy, bro. Step back a little bit. Gotta do these lips. Uh, trying to make it look exactly like my original but just add more up-to-date features to it as well. When I get some free time, I'm gonna make an animated cartoon for my channel. I, I did one like last year, but I'm gonna do one like more into to detail, man. Start telling little stories with the cartoons. Let's see. Turn this line over. Ooh. Man, look how crisp the them lines look. It's over. Got this little point right there. Some little bags under my eyes. Okay. I 
gotta do my little gums, my gum line. Got that looking right. Gotta do my big old T. Okay. How we looking? Okay. Need to make that. Need to make that come down some, man. Cause I got some big old choppers. We just gonna bring this line. Bring that line, look. All right, there we go. I gotta do the outer shape of my face. I'm gonna go to this uh this lasso lasso feel to go add these add these hairs in. As far as making line work, I truly think this is one of the best programs to do it in because it's so accurate. I know Adobe, sometimes like the lines will switch up after you done, you done made them, it'll kind of change it a little bit. But on this, like, I ain't got to worry about that. Yeah, I messed up on that eyebrow. Made it look too, too angry. Bring it up some. Go. I gotta do the, t do the hair, do the sideburns, and y'all see I'm doing this little, little hair effect as I'm making my, my borderline. Okay, we're gonna close it off right there. Gonna come back. take this stabilization down some so we can be more fluid and faster the more you move your stabilization up it'll it'll kind of make it go slower that's the only problem but other than that it's perfect make these hairs so far come together slowly and surely Feel all 
this in. Then I'm finna come back. When I finish that, we gonna come back. We gonna add. We gonna try G G uh G pin. We just gonna add some hairs. Hook it out so make it look more more real. It's just about technique. Learn a technique and just stick with it, man. Does Clip Studio have a Victor option? I think so. I'm pretty sure it do. I think I, I was trying to research that at one point in time. I'm pretty sure it do. I just, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really took the time out to really learn the program. After I figured out how to do the basics, I just went for it. I was like, okay, that's all I need to know for now. But it's a lot you can do in this program like so much like photoshop you can use this program just like you can photoshop and you can use it just like adobe it's like a mix and another thing about this program you can you can make animation in it like you can make a cartoon in this program it's crazy i just really gotta take the time out to really learn it more because the more you learn any program man that's the advantage you got if you already done figured out how to draw in it good and you learning how to do extra stuff with it that's when you can the sky's the limit of what you can how far you can take your work you can make it when you can make your work come to life and all that and make it move and you done figured out the program so you can save you some time when you ain't got to draw it frame by frame you know the little tricks and trades yeah so it's good to any program if you already a good and great artist man only thing you got now is to learn the ins and the out study the program learn it I'm telling y'all something I need to do because, shoot, I don't know. I don't know too much about this program, but I, I imagine if I did, it would be over with, like, because I'd be able to do way more. So it's never good to get comfortable with, you know what I'm saying? With, like, just say if you done got real good at drawing. And you're like, okay, I done learned all I need to know. Like, I'm already a great artist. No, nah, it's still something else you can learn to to be even greater. You know what I'm saying? So never lose that desire of wanting to push yourself to the next level. Because I know a lot of people, they, they hit me up on Instagram, and they be like, man, how you get... How you get all these followers or how you get how you get um how you get it going like you did and how you get money off what you do and all that but you really can't focus on that you really supposed to focus on like before i got to where i am and i still got so far to go bro i'm not saying like i'm just at the top of my game before i got here it was just, I had in my mind, I said, man, I'm just finna just put out just some great quality work. I'm finna let people see what I can do. I wasn't, I wasn't focused on 
gaining subscribers or following i was just focusing on putting out me you know what i'm saying showing what i can do and everything else came like to be honest and when i was focusing when you focus on trying to make money and blow up for some reason it'll never work out and you be like dang man i don't focus i don't try it you focusing on trying to make money you'll never make money when you focus on what you love to do and being the best you can be at whatever you love to do that's when everything will come to you you know what i'm saying because as soon as i stop focusing on trying to make money and all that other stuff and i just worry focus on me and being the best i could be at what i love to do and showing what what i could do that's when everything came and then by the time everything came you realize shoot i don't even care about what i was working so hard to get like as far as money like you like dang i don't even care about it like that now i care about the people that love what i do you know what i'm saying now i truly care about what really matter you know what i'm saying so the goal is don't focus on trying to make money off art focus on trying to be the best artist you can be because money gonna come regardless you know what i'm saying money gonna come whether you working a job you hate or you working a job you love like money gonna come so if it's gonna come regardless eventually that shouldn't be your focus your focus should be i want to be the best artist i could be or i want to be the best at whatever i, I do because in this world we live in everybody is interested in the person that they considers the best you know what i'm saying like I'm pretty sure a lot of people wouldn't be watching me if they didn't have in their mind, oh, he's the best at that. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to be successful at anything, you got to work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to focus on you and focus on getting better. Stay getting better. Practicing. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you love to do. This this message I'm telling y'all, y'all don't even have to be artists listening to me. You could be ballerinas, producers, got them studying to be a doctor, whatever you want to do. Focus on being the best. Because if you're focusing on making money, you're not chasing a passion. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you just you're living to be a zombie. Because when money get old, just say if you was only doing art or trying to get better at being an artist because you figured out, okay, artists make good money. So that's why I want to be an artist. Okay, what's going to happen when you made that money? And money's no longer the issue. Now you miserable. Because you got money, so now that you got it, it's no longer something to chase and you no longer have nothing to do and it was never your passion from the get-go now you're miserable and that's where you get all these celebrities that's doing these drugs and stuff because they not truly happy once you chase money and only money like you're not chasing purpose so my advice to y'all because i know this my channel is about teaching but i also want to give y'all some knowledge and try to help you think about things think things all the way through my advice to y'all would be chase your passion don't chase don't chase no money you know what i'm saying chase passion because i could truly i can truly say if i was making zero dollars from art if i was making zero dollars i would do this every day and that's when you know you're living in your purpose. When you when you would do something, if you weren't getting paid for it at all, like if you, it's people out there that love to play basketball, that would play it if it was nothing 
beneficial to them like will still play it now that's when you know you got a passion for something but that's that's my advice man don't ever do something just with money in mind have a bigger it got to be a better reason than that you know what i'm saying because i get a lot of people like man dang i want to do that i'm trying to start this because i want to make this i want to make that nah you going in it with the wrong mentality now if you love it now we, you you can you can talk about money. If you love what you do and you already know that's your passion, now you you can talk about money. Make that your job. You know what I'm saying? Make what you love your job. That's when I love to hear people talk about some money. When they love what they do, and now they want to take the steps to make it their job. You know what I'm saying? So that's the goal. Make what you love to do your job, or you're going to die a zombie. You get what I'm saying? Like, make what you love your job, or you're going to die a zombie. Meaning, you're going to die living a job that you hate. You know what I'm saying? And I say that, if you work in a job right now that you hate, that's cool. But do whatever you got to do to prepare yourself to make your passion your your job you know what i'm saying while you at that job you hate be thinking of what you can learn from where you at in life like what 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 can i take from this to create my own you know what i'm saying uh, if you had a job this is this way you know you at the wrong place if you had a job bro and you thinking about something else? I used to be at, I used to work at this tattoo shop, but I wasn't doing tattoos. I was like, they had me doing old petty shit, like mopping, cleaning, and shit like that. They they had me doing everything but drawings, working at the cash register and all that stuff. And but they knew I could draw though. Like I was just a little kid from the hood. I came in there one day. I ain't never had no job, but I had I had older OGs in my neighborhood like, "Chi man, you need to try to you need to try to get a, a job at a tattoo shop. You would take off cuz they always knew I could draw like in the neighborhood. And they always like, "Man, you crazy with this art." So, one day they just came to the house and they were like, "Man, just get in the truck." So, we rolled out. He said, "Bring your bring your art portfolio." So we went to this tattoo shop, and I, I walked in there. I said, "Hey, man, I want to try to I want to try to get a job out here and do tattoos." And the guy looked at me. He was like, "What?" Cause you know I look crazy with the dreads and stuff. I just look like a hood dude. And back then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they. We were like, "What? You want to?" And he just like, "No, nah, no, nah, we're not hiring. We're not hiring." So I said, "All right." But I was walking out, and I had my art portfolio with me. And he said, "He said, hold on, hold on." He said, "What you got right there?" I said, "I just got some pictures I did." He said, "Can I look at them?" I said, "Yeah, you can check them out." The dude pulled out one picture of mine, and he said, "Oh my God!" And he gave me a uh, right when he pulled it out, he said, "This is crazy," and he gave me. Uh, a pack of art pencils and then he said come back tomorrow he gave me a pack of art pencils and I was like dang and when I left I was excited because I was like man I'm finna start doing tattoos shit man I started working out I was doing everything but tattoos and they were trying to play me at the same time I was young and I was just trying to make some money dog and they was doing tattoos, and when customers would come in there and they seen my work, because I always had an art pad with me with paper in it, it'd be people who would walk in the, the tattoo shop, and they want to get tattooed was in my art book. So eventually, I started charging people for the designs that, that was in my art book. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't really making no, no big money working there, but 
I started making money when I started doing my own little hustle on the side. Like they had me work like a janitor and I wasn't getting paid. I was getting paid under the table. You know what I'm saying? And I was young, dog. So I ain't, when you never had a check, you, you would think anything was good. I didn't even know, like, I was just young and dumb. I ain't know what was good, pay, what was bad. I was just shit. I was like, damn, I got some money, though. But, man, I started charging people for the, the, the designs I had in my art book. And I was just, shit. I was making a nice little, a nice little lick. But after a while... They started telling me I couldn't do that. But they was trying to use my pictures for their customers so they can get paid doing their tattoo using my art. And I just started peeping a lot of shit I, I really didn't like, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Just a lot of stuff. I know that was a a damn cliffhanger story, but that's something I had in my mind. I just wanted to tell y'all. Yeah. But either way, man, make sure you chasing. Chasing your goal, chasing your, your dream, turn your dream into your job. Or prepare yourself. Because I worked a lot of, I'm a, I ain't going to say I worked a lot. How many jobs I ever had in my life? I only had two jobs ever in life. And that was at that tattoo shop, Mopping Flows. And my the last job I ever got in my life was uh working at a telephone place where they create telephone books. It's called Pioneer. And what they do there is they, they make the telephone books and they go throw them at your front door and stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you, I got that job. And while I was working at that job, just like every job I ever worked at, it made, it, it made so much sense to me now because that ain't nothing I wanted to do. For like that, cause you can tell when you don't want to do something, cause when you there, just like I said, you thinking of something else. But I knew it was everything happened for a reason, so I was there for a reason. So what I learned at these places are helped me today. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I I prayed one night. I said, God, please just. Whatever you want me to do, I'm going to do it. This before I was like, I figured out the cartoon heads. And I'm going to tell you how all this got started. And I'm you're going to hear me tell this story a lot. Like, if you see me, I'm going to tell this story a lot. Hopefully, it'll inspire somebody. All right, one day, I always made money. I ain't never had no job because I always made money hustling. And I ain't saying like I was out selling dope or weed or some stuff like that. No, I wasn't. I was just one of those guys that I'm going to figure out how to make money regardless. Whether it's I got to save up some bread or get me a penny jar to save up some bread and buy a lawnmower and mow people yards. I'm going to figure out how to flip money. So I always been a hustler. I always had a hustler spirit about me. And that's what I relied on to make money for a long time without me needing a job. You know what I'm saying? It was a hustle. Like, and I at one point in time, I was really, I really liked making beats. I'm going I'm to go ahead and finish the tattoo story off. Okay, look. Eventually, I got fired for the job because I quit anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look. They was, I just got tired of it, bro. Like, they were playing. I feel like they was just, I wasn't making enough, man. I wasn't, I, w I was there with the ideal of I was finna do tattoos. 
but I was somewhere mopping floors and cleaning bathrooms. And I was like, okay, I'll do this shit. But I wound up doing that for goddamn almost a year. And I was like, bro. And I noticed I started feeling more depressed going to work. I was like, shit, man, this shit. This shit taking up my day. I get off when 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 basically it's time to go to bed. And I was like, bro, I hate this job. So one day, after I got my last little check, you know what I'm saying? I quit, bro. I like, and I ain't quit the regular way. I just stopped showing up. I said, fuck this shit, bro. Y'all doing your boy dirty, man. That's how I feel. I was like, man. I was like, man, y'all doing me dirty. That's what I was thinking in my head. I ain't said it. So I just stopped showing up. You know what I'm saying? Once you teach, once you teach you off, I'm going to dismiss myself. So I just stopped showing up. So the dude came to my door like, like uh, two weeks later. And he was like, you fired. But I'm thinking like, nigga, <laughs> I stopped going. Like, I'm glad you figured it out. I fired myself. But yeah, okay. What I did with my money when I got it, like as soon as I got all my money, cause it took me a while, a long time, like, Working that long, bro, I probably saved up like $1,200. And I wasn't spending no money. I was just saving it. But the day I quit, I bought me a studio. Because I, I really wanted to be a, a head, a producer. So the day I quit, I ordered like some KRKs, a mixer, a, a Dell computer. What else I get? I got a microphone. I like I spent all my money on basically investing in what I believe in. I always did that my whole life. Anything I believed in, it was all or nothing with me. I ain't I ain't half step it. I wasn't afraid to take chances. Like if you believe in something, bro, you gotta be like, fuck it. Because if you don't invest in you, you can't expect nobody else to. That's how that's I always had that in my head. So as soon as I quit, I went straight to the store. I bought everything. I didn't even think about it. As soon as I bought all this equipment, I got my homie over there. He got me FL Studio because, you know, he, he had it on his computer. So he was like, damn, I'm going to put this shit on yours. I said, cool. And, bro, every day I just worked on beats. And I got good enough where that started making me money, like, Cause every in a in the hood, everybody want to be rappers. So I started making money off just producing for folks. People started liking my beats, and I was selling them for like twenty dollars. And I was like, dang, this can work out. This this worked out perfect. Like, I started selling beats, and I started charging people for studio time. So people come through, they record, they can buy beats from me. Then I was thinking, dang, why I'm doing this? I need to get me a camera and start offering music videos. So I started selling beats, selling music videos. I learned, I just started learning everything to that I like. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a big fan of music. So I'm like, dang, I I can create sounds, and I know it sounds good to me. And shoot, people started liking it, and I started getting. Started getting customers. I started selling studio time. I started selling beats. And that worked for a long time for me. But then it, it get to a point, it got to a point in my life, I was like, man, it's time to evolve. It's time to go bigger than this. You know what I'm saying? So eventually I just wanted more. I was like, yeah, I'm making a little, I'm making a little money. But I wanna, I wanna evolve with my brand with, I wanna do more. I want to take it to the next level. I don't want to just be catering to my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I want to I want to be bigger than that. So eventually, I, you know what I'm saying? Start back drawing. Because I always could draw. I just never... Didn't nobody know I could draw? Because eventually, like, I wouldn't... It was just something I could do. I looked at it as, as like, okay, I can draw. That's cool. It wasn't, it wasn't that serious. It was like a hobby to me. 
I loved it, but it wasn't like to a point where I wanted to show people. I was just cool, drawing, vibing out to myself. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, man, I want to do, I want to do something with it. And then all my friends always be like, man, you crazy when they see. When they see me draw, and I just thought they were just gassing me up because they was my friends. You know how friends do. Like, yeah. They'll gas you up to get in trouble, man. <laughs> but nah, they was like, man, you dope. And then, shoot, I don't know. I just feel I found that passion back for it. Like, I'm a dude, I work out feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I feel like doing something, if I feel like, just say I'm doing art right now. If I feel like, okay, I don't want to do art right now. I want to do music this whole year. I stop doing art right now and do music because it's a feeling. I go off a certain feeling. And that's how, that's how I work. I work by feeling. Like, if I'm not feeling it, I ain't doing it. And then once I'm feeling it again, I pick it back up. Cause I got, I feel like I got so many gifts, but it's a gift and a curse. Cause I can never focus on one. When you when you can do so many things and you blessed with so many things, and you just know life is a blessing itself, it's hard to, it's hard to focus. I can't focus. So if I can't focus on nothing, I always be like, well, dang, how can I be great at something I can't even devote 100% of my time to? So I'm a, I'm a good, I feel like I'm a good artist, but I can never be, I can never be great at it because I can never devote that much time into it because I'm all over the place. You know what I'm saying? But... Anyway, I'm finna tell y'all this story. I'm finna tell y'all some more. I'm just talking to y'all, y'all. Look, I started working at this telephone. I'm gonna tell you how I got the job. I prayed, just like I told y'all, I was like, I was ready to take everything to another level. Like, just being dope to the people in my neighborhood was being old to me. It was a saying, they say, like, if you, if you the man in your backyard, that don't really mean nothing. Like anybody could be the man in their own, they own surroundings. But I, I, you know what I'm saying. I wanted more. So, I prayed one night. I said, God, whatever you want me to do, whatever you want me to do, I'ma do it. I was just, so, I'm, I was so desperate to get to just a next level in my life. So as soon as I did that prayer, bro, I woke up the next day and I got a phone call from my friend mama and she asked me, did I want a job? And to be honest with you, I didn't want no job because I was like, dang, I'm making money hustling. Like, I done mastered, I done mastered making money hustling, but I wasn't happy. Just like I told y'all, like if you chasing money, eventually it ain't going to fulfill you. If you, because you're gonna be like, dang, it's something. I, I'm making money, but I still don't. I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not happy. You know what I'm saying? So I made that prayer. The next day, I woke up. I got a random call asking, "Do I want a job?" And I didn't want a job, but I remember I prayed, and then I remember I said in my prayer that I said, "God, I'll do whatever you want me to do." You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. So I was like, dang, if I turn this job down, that's probably what God wanted me to do. So it'd be kind of asking for something and then not holding up to my part of the deal. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? I prayed about this. Maybe God sent this to me. And I ain't no maybe. I, I truly felt like, okay, God want me to do this. So I did it. So I said, yeah, I want a job. So I was just acting like I, I was excited about it because I was like, dang, I just prayed about this. So... She said, all right, we'll uh, interview you tomorrow. So I came up to the place, and the guy interviewed me. And I was just, I ain't get prepared for it, man. I just wore some, like, some street attire. You know what I'm saying? I had some goddamn uh, jacket on, goddamn toboggan, 
and all that. Just like I was, I was looking rough, and I, I'm pretty sure, like I thought I was gonna get turned away just how the way I was looking, cause I was looking like I truly didn't care. But the man gave me the job. I was like, damn, he, shit, he just gave me the job. He was like, man, well, shit, can, when can you start? That's how he was like. I was like, oh shit, so they cool with me looking crazy. And I said, shit, I can start tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So I got that job working at the phone book place. And what I noticed, like God put me there for a reason because all the knowledge I learned working at that job is basically some of the things I use working for myself. You know what I'm saying? So it was a guy there like a janitor and he always stopped by my room and he just he just randomly it was an old white man and he just randomly say he just say something so like it's kind of like he wanted you to figure it out you know what i'm saying he stopped by my, my uh my room one day he said a master of he said a master of a jack of all, he said, a jack of all trades is a master of, of nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, huh? And every time he, he always stop at my room and say something. And then he'll just finish cleaning up and shit like that. And I, and I, and then every time he stopped by, I'd be thinking, man, what the hell is it? What the hell is man talking about? A jack of all trades is a, it's a master of nothing. Then one day he stopped by. And I always expect him to stop by and say something that he's going to force me to try to figure out. He stopped by one day. He said, you know how this business works? I said, no, how it works? He said, you find people that's great at what they do. You find everybody that's great at, at one thing, that one thing they're great at, and you put them all together, and then they will work like a centipede. And he just always say stuff like that to me. And come to find out, I was on a lunch break. And the lady that worked there with me, she was like, she was like, uh, you know who that is, right? I was like, you talking about the janitor? She was like, no, nah, that's the owner to this building. I was like, what the fuck? And it just blew my mind. Because the owner to the building this whole time I was looking at him like a janitor, you know what I'm saying? And to come to find out, this man, this man making four million a year. But he always stopped by and gave me knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Randomly. And then you gotta think, it's even deeper than that. I prayed, I prayed for that, you know what I'm saying? And God worked in mysterious ways, and I was like, how, how weird is that? I wake up the next day, I get a job, I never filled out an application for anywhere, never was around looking. I get a job making good money and I got so much wisdom the short time I worked there. And the guy that was always stopping by my room to give me wisdom and knowledge and basically give me the game was the owner of the entire building. And I just learned so much. And then I just see how, I see how humble he was. He a millionaire, this man a millionaire, but you will never see that. I never seen he was a millionaire. He drove a Nissan to work and people drove nicer cars than him to work. That works for him. That worked there for him. But they was there in, in nicer cars, like the tricked out Jeeps and all that. And he was in this old car and he was the janitor there, meaning he didn't have to work because he a millionaire, but he was still working because he wanted to. 
and that ju- it just just being able to see that and i just knew it was it's, it ain't nothing but god because he was just showing me you know what i'm saying he was showing me how humble you still have to be once you reach a certain level in your career he was showing me how you still got to treat people you know what i'm saying because that that man didn't make me feel like he was better than me even though shit technically he was he was doing better than me he's a millionaire but he still like he blended in so perfectly it was just so much i learned you know what i'm saying while i was there that short amount of time and then while i was there i figured out how I was going to make my business work. I was like, what can I sell? I, I love art. I want to make art my job. What can I, how can I make art cool? How can I make art cool? And I thought about that every day at work. How can I make art marketable? And while I sat in my office on my, spree, on, on, the, on my free time, I just sit in there and I sketch. But I wasn't just sketching, I was sketching up ideas. I was like, how can I make art cool? So I start sketching up faces. I look at the pictures out the phone book and I was was just sketching up faces. I was like, how can I make this cool? And then I started thinking of that digital tablet. I was like, dang, I can, it'll be easier to draw on this than it would paper where I don't have to waste paper and really, eventually, I was like, man, I can, I can sell a cartoon, faces of people. I can draw people faces and, and make it cool. I can make it trendy and I can start doing that. So once I got that locked in my head and I done got all the wisdom I learned from that job, even though I was making good money, it was time to go. So at this job, I, I respected them so much that I didn't just up and leave. You know what I'm saying? I put in my my two weeks notice. I mean, I didn't, I told them. I told them, I, I was like, you know what? I'm so thankful for this opportunity you guys gave me. You know what I'm saying? I was making good money and they was treating me good. You know what I'm saying? But that wasn't my calling. I couldn't stay there. And just like I said, I wasn't chasing, I wasn't chasing the money. I was chasing my purpose and my purpose wasn't to be there. So I was like, man, it's time, it's time to go. I done learned everything I could here. So I told them, I even told them my plans. I said, I plan on starting my art business. I I plan on turning my art into a business. And I told them everything, how I was, what I thought of and my idea, and they was like, man, I'm happy for you. That's what, the, that's what the dude said. He said, I'm happy for you, man. And then I stayed there as long as he needed me. I helped train the guy that was gonna take my, my spot. And shit, when I left, I devoted all my time not into making money. I devoted my time into making digital, like digital art cool. You know what I'm saying? It was uh, not saying it wasn't already done before me, but I made it. I was making it cool. I said, you know what? First, you got to make it trend before you can make it sell. So my goal wasn't to make money with doing art at first. I just wanted to make it trendy. So I just started drawing people, man. I started drawing celebrities. And I started join celebrities like crazy tagging them inboxing them like hey check out this picture i draw check out this picture i drew you i just kept drawing people you know what i'm saying and got turned down a lot of people didn't respond to me man this one i I ain't had no followers you know what i'm saying because i just started but i was like man you know what i won't be denied i'm gonna be consistent at this because just like before you work at work at McDonald's, that's that was somebody's dream. You know what I'm saying? That was somebody's idea. They just made it. They just made it big enough where you look at it now as McDonald's. 
So that's what I want. That's what I want to do with my brand. I said, you know what? I'm going to make these people see me. They ain't going to have no choice because I ain't going to stop. I'm going to flood the Internet with my work because this is what I love to do. So I'm going to make this my job where I can take care of my family doing what I love to do. Other than take care of my family, I could have take I could have took care of my family just working at that 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 phone company place. But nah, I don't want to do that. I want to take care of my family being happy. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I tell y'all when y'all ask me like, how do you how do you get your how do you get your stuff popping? How do you get it? Make it big. The secret is consistency and confidence. You got to have a, a hunger inside of you saying, I won't be denied. And that's one thing I did. I said, man, I'm going to keep growing until they had no choice but to respect it. Like, so I started drawing everybody. And then I drew, I drew Sway Lee. And that really gave me the comfort. Like, I drew him, and he messaged me back. He said, man, you dope. He messaged me back. He said, you dope. And it was just like, dang, that's what's up. Well, if he do it, he did that. It just gave me an extra boost. I'm like, man, I'm just going to stay going ham. I kept drawing people, kept drawing. I just kept drawing. And then eventually, it started getting the recognition. It didn't start out fast, but eventually the momentum built up because in my head, I had that lock. I won't be denied, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta realize in life, you are gonna get some doors slammed in your face. But if you stop knocking on doors because you got a couple of doors slammed in your face, then basically you you saying you giving up on yourself and you ready to live your life as a zombie. You ready to live your life just to be living, not doing what you love, and you just waiting to die. And that ain't that's one thing, bro. If it take me forever. If I fail in life forever chasing what I love, then my life was well lived. You know what I'm saying? I never gave up on me. And that's the that's the the message I want to give y'all. Never give up. You got to chase your chase your dreams. Can't nobody tell you what you can't be. Only you can tell yourself what you can't be and can't do. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't. That ain't. That's impossible. Only you can say that about you. But what if you had in your heart that I won't be denied mentality? You know what I'm saying? How you gonna lose if you ain't denying yourself or saying what you can't do? Or if you get beat, you the type that'll get back up and figure out, okay, how I'm gonna win next time. You can't get beat if you never quit. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 my mentality to this day. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of times you gotta look at your situation. Like if you grow up in the struggle, you gotta look at your situation as a beneficial, like that benefited you. Because if you grow up without, you got nothing to lose. And that's how I feel, man. Like, nah, I'm glad I grew up. In, in a poverty stricken area I'm, I'm glad I grew up black well it's kind of the odds are already against you I'm glad I grew up with such struggle that it created a, 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 a warrior you know what I'm saying because when you go through things you learn how to make the best out of nothing you know what I'm saying you notice somebody that's in foreign countries, we we'll go over there and we'll be like, well dang, how they how they survive, how they do this. But to them it's normal. Like they can they be smiling and they can just live life not because they grew up without so much that shit, they they adapt to it. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's the goal. You know what I'm saying? Any situation you're in, if you're in a bad situation, learn how to adapt to it. You know what I'm saying? So it can only build you as a person. Because the only thing you're trying to do in life is be the best you can be, build your confidence, and have that mentality of anything you want, I won't be denied. I won't be denied. If it's a job you want, you want to be a corporate, you want to work in a, a big corporate office, and they ain't hiring you because you ain't got the credentials, tell yourself, I won't be denied. Do whatever you got to do to get the credentials or whatever you need to be accepted. If that's your passion, only fight for your passion or you will never be happy. And that's why I say never chase money if it has nothing to do with passion. Never chase money if it ain't got nothing to do with your passion. Only time you want to chase money is when it's attached to making your passion your job. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all, man, for listening to me to talk. I will be going live tomorrow. Y'all like, I look a little too light skinned on this. Let me, let me make me a little darker. Okay, buddy said go to, uh, Go to this. Okay. I just don't like the fact it is changing my shirt color, man. I just want to change. My, uh, okay, I see why. Cause I got that on the same layer. Oh. What happened? Tony donated a dollar, man. Appreciate you for the love and support. A purple headed yogurt slinger. What is that? Hey, yeah, let me clear that up, man. The donation is if you just want to just, you know what I'm saying, donate. I appreciate y'all for donating, but the donation is not for, uh, it's just the kindness out your heart, really. You know what I'm saying? And basically, you showing support that you love what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So it's not for like if you donate, you get something. Or basically, that's not donating. That's you buying something. You know what I'm saying? So now, if you want to buy something, you can check out my price list on um, Instagram where you can, you know what I'm saying, buy a cartoon head. And I will draw it live on my uh, YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? So, but I appreciate you for your donation, man. That's, that's very thoughtful. I'm so glad. Hey, who told, who told, who told me how to do the color correction thing? J Mark, man. You a real one, bro. I appreciate you, man. I've been trying to figure that out for so long, bro. And you just helped me. So I really appreciate you. Nah, I think this is one of my favorite. This this done moved this way up. It's almost neck to neck with Adobe Illustrator. I just gotta use it a little more, but it's pretty neck and neck, bro. I really love this program. What y'all want me to do? Uh, do going when I go live tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? What we said we were gonna do is is it Photoshop or draw on paper? Which one we doing first, man? We doing a Photoshop or we doing a drawing on paper? Love you too, man. Appreciate y'all for the love and support. Hey, when we go live tomorrow, should I draw on paper or should I do a video on Photoshop? You know what I'm saying? What y'all want to see first? I mean, I'm going to make both of the videos, but which one y'all want to see tomorrow? Me draw live on paper or me draw on Photoshop? All the comments be coming in so slow. What program is it? This is Clip Studio Paint. Oh, Photoshop. Somebody said they want to see me draw on paper. 
Oh, we 5,000 away from 200K? Yeah, we turn it up, man. Just like I told y'all, we won't be denied. This summer, we're going to try to hit a million subscribers, man. We're going to try to grow this channel. I'm going to give y'all all I have to give. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we got paper, paper. It look like the paper's winning, y'all. So, look like we're going to be drawing on paper tomorrow. Well, man, I appreciate y'all, man, for watching your boy. Make sure you stay tuned. You feel me? More heat coming soon. And we out this thing.